Well, hey guys, it's me in my sweater. See what I mean by the, the level it hits though? Because like a little bit higher and you'd be able to see that I'm just not a blob, but I look a little blobish, you know? Just a little bit higher, like <laughs> that much. <laughs> the sleeves got so long. I did not pin it, I just lied it flat and this is, this is how much it opened up. Oh, I just tried to spin, hold on. <laughs> Looks cute from the back. Super cute. I'm just wearing it over dress with boots. Okay, so I've had some questions about how I do my little thumbnails. This is Canva, and I just showed you there's a YouTube thumbnail, like, blueprint, but I'm using a design I've worked on. So it's a free app slash free service online, and I basically just am... Um, manipulating the layers in my piece. So I have a border on the outside and this is from yesterday's vlog. So I'm changing the date, which I've already had set up. And then I'm gonna go find an image that I can work with. This is for the Christmas Prince Royal Wedding and I'm picking an image that I can manipulate. So first I'm searching out something that I think will be easily deleted and fixed up. I've picked this image, it's too small. The pixel to pixel is too small, so I'm gonna go find it in a bigger image and work with that. This one will work. So I save it, then I open up the picture using my preview app on my Mac. It is free as well, included with the Mac, and I begin editing my picture. I just delete all of the stuff I want using my smart lasso or the like filtery tool. Then I clean up the image as best I can using like a general lasso where I'm actually picking the spots I want to delete, and she's gonna end up being just a floating head. <laughs> Once you have the image with the background deleted, you can import it into Canva and place it where you want to place it. I resize it and I just basically push it a little bit backwards so that the border is in front and you can't see my messy edges. Then I'm adding a little silly crown to my head because I can. You can make any changes you want. You can search for different um, items, stickers kind of, change the color, and voila, you have an image. Sonic because McDonald's drive through was too long. So now I can sit here and knit and wait for them to bring me my food.
I want to go there to the wedding. I need to get these on larger needles, but my needles are right in there. And I can't, I can't get them. <sighs> Gonna wind up some minis so that I can knit on my Radvent tomorrow. And I haven't cleaned it all. Naughty me. <laughs> probably gonna wind them by hand because they're tiny and they're not gonna fit on my jumbo ball winder so <laughs> someone had commented that it was cute how I wound my balls and um how I wound my balls I just wind them by hand I don't know there's no no different way of doing it as far as I know <sighs> It's a ball. I don't know. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. I don't really know how she dyed it. Because none of this matches up. There's two greens on this side. And then a pink and then a green and then a pink. Is that how you dye things? That's not how you dye things. I don't know. How did she do this? Mm. It's gonna be pretty though. And just like that, we have another ball. Look how pretty it is. Hello. <laughs> it might look different because I have my bedroom lights off and I've just got like my ring light, my Christmas lights. Did I say hello? Hey guys, it's Kristen and it's Vlogmas Day 8. Technically, I think it's the 9th now. I don't know what time it is. It's late though. Let's see. Let's start off with what I didn't do, which was my laundry. <laughs> so I'm going to be a day off in my cleaning plan. I had some bad news from a friend. I don't know if she watches this podcast. She's She is subscribed to my channel, but her father passed away last night and so... I've been sad and I've just been running through my head what I need to do for her and her family. We've been friends since we were 12 years old. I've known her dad since I was like before I could think as a human, you know? So she uh, is from California. That's where I grew up, uh, but she lives in Oregon. And so she's right now in California dealing with this with her family and I don't know what to do. And I... I'm just at a loss. So I've really just been overthinking, um, you know, of how to help my friend. And I've lost, you know, I've lost my husband and I kind of remember what people did when uh, that happened for me, but not really. And it's Christmas time and you don't, you know, you don't like to hear that for people, especially people that you love, so. If you guys have suggestions of thoughtful things to do, I just, I'm like, <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I'm like, let me pay your rent because right now she's in California. She's got both of her dogs. She's dealing with all of this. She has an apartment that needs to be paid for in Oregon. She has a job that she's not at. So I'm just like, look, can I pay your rent? And I feel like that's kind of weird. I'm sure a lot of you are like, yeah, no, do that. <laughs> Anyway, so because I've been dealing with that, I haven't been focusing on things that I need to do. But I have time. It's not urgent. I can do my laundry tomorrow. And I will. I will do my laundry tomorrow. <laughs> I should have brought home my whiteboard. I didn't bring it home. That would have motivated me a little bit. But let's open some Advent and get a little bit happier. <laughs> Sorry for the bummer right there in the beginning. <laughs> let's start with Lindsay's advent day eight. Oh, she is beauty. She is grace. Uh, Lindsay, tell me what this one is. There's no label inside. If you remember, this is beautiful. It's sparkly. It's 
all the colors. I love it. I almost put it in my mouth. Thank you, Lindsay. This is Wooly Mama Yarns. Oh my gosh, that's so vibrant. Wait a minute. So I just wound up yesterday's colors. Oh my gosh, this is so vibrant. But they have the same, very similar color scheme. So let's see. So this is a little bit more pinky. But oh my goodness. Okay, let me show you my advent knitting for this project because <laughs> it's good. So I have made it to day six, I believe. This is one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I'm on day six. I'm about halfway through of the Radvent cardigan. It's coming out so good. I switched to bigger needles and I still need bigger needles. It's a little bit bunched up. I'm still a little bit worried about my gauge being just a tad off, like like a quarter of a stitch off. And I just want it to be, I want the effect. I want the balloon sleeves. I want it to look good. So I'm hoping this works out. But then you're gonna have these two oranges right next to each other. Oh, it's gonna look good. It's gonna be exciting. I feel like it's gonna look nuts, but in a good way, like in a, in a like art teacher kind of way, you know? <laughs> okay, so that's my only current advent project other than the Cozy Knitter Socks, which I'll show you in a second. Arkansas Yarn Co. I'm getting texts. I feel like there was a goodie. I think I got it. Oh my gosh. It is a stitch marker. It says let it snow and then there's a little snowflake and it's got one of these like o-ring clasps which is almost an earring back but just not quite and it's a little stiff but that's okay. I think I just pinched it wrong. Look at it though. So pretty. Very dangly. Oh, and the yarn, it's so pretty. Okay, so there's a lot of white space in this advent, which means that the color is gonna show up in just speckles throughout when I do it. I still think if my Radvent cardigan fits really nicely, I'm gonna make another one with Arkansas Yarn Co. But instead of the bright blue edges, I think I'll do Wedding Cake, which is like a very light kind of cream with glitter in it. That's so pretty. I don't have her names next to me, so I'll put it on the bottom of the screen because I have no idea what this one's called, but it's adorable and I love the little goodie. I have to make sure I collect all of them. I don't know where I put some of them. And that happened to me last year too. <laughs> so I'll show you my cozy knitter socks because I did catch up today. They are in my stitching plaza bag. Can you hear my cat? She's right here purring. She's so sweet. She just loves me. Okay. So these are days one through eight. I just dropped a couple stitches off, but that's okay. I'll fix it later. They're coming out super cute. I thought they were gonna be a little bit more pinky because this is pink, purple. This is a pinky toned red and this is a true red. This is another like kind of purpley gray. I thought they were gonna be a little bit more girly looking, but they look they look pretty Christmassy, kind of traditional. I like it. Okay, I've seen a lot more self-striping advents than I knew existed. The freckled whimsy one, I think, is one that I've seen. So cute. I love that. Um, but this is my second year knitting the cozy knitters advent, and I love this one too. So. Um, I want to say that I'd rather do like a neon sock advent like that, but then it wouldn't feel very Christmassy to me. So I think I'll stick with the cozy knitter. Anyway, I didn't get up to too much today. I worked like every day. Oh, I went to Starbucks with Jana and had lunch and got knitting there and had, um, just a nice little afternoon and then when I got home um I went to Sonic and had hot dogs and that was nice and it was cold today which is nice and I wore my love note which was nice everything was pretty nice except for the beginning part of the day which was sad so I watched a Christmas Prince 
to The Royal Wedding. And I have to say, that movie is so much better than the Princess Switch movies. I mean, it's the sequel of a pretty stupid Netflix movie. It's definitely cheesy, but there's something about it that's just more heartfelt. It's more like real and I like it a lot. I love the Chris a Christmas Prince trilogy. It's just, <sighs> I actually watched it with my friend who just lost her father. Uh, we spent Christmas together a couple years ago and we, she worked, she's a nurse, well, a medical professional. I don't know exactly what her title is, but we watched it, I think on Christmas day when she got home after like an overnight and, and we watched all three of them in a row and they were so bad yet so good. So <sighs> I forgot where I was. <laughs> I hope you guys are getting in the Christmas spirit. We're getting closer. It's the 8th, so I think it's, what, 17 more days till Christmas? Uh, have you done any shopping? I have not done any shopping. Anyway, have a good night or a good day or whatever. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. He's a nasty boy. He's a nasty boy. Are you in your spot? Oh, you look like you're old. You're not even old. You're a puppy. You're a puppy. You are a puppy.